fans of Succession that Miss Sarah Snook can find her now on Netflix, starring in the new psychological horror movie, Run, Rabbit, Run. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the recent Netflix film Run, Rabbit, Run. This is streaming right now and uh, stars Succession's Sarah Snook. Um, I have never seen the show Succession, uh, so you guys may be a little more familiar with Snook than I am. I've heard the name before, and I'm, I'm sure I've probably seen her pop up in uh, movies or TV shows uh, here and there, but I sort of missed the succession boat, and now it is all wrapped up, so maybe eventually I will go back and uh, sort of watch that. I've also been told by a couple of friends that enjoy the show uh, that it might not be my kind of thing, so I, I don't know. Um, but in any event, you guys might be more familiar with her uh, than I am. But before we launch into the specifics of this movie, let me welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thank you for finding this video. We do uh, movie and TV reviews here on the channel, and I try to post something new just about every day. So uh, a lot to check out. Please consider subscribing down below or like this video, comment below. That stuff all does help the channel out. All right, so Sarah Snook is playing Sarah here. Big stretch. Um, but she is a fertility doctor with a young daughter um, named Mia. And she's having a birthday party at the beginning of this film. I, I want to say she turned seven, if I'm remembering that right. But Mia is played by uh, a young actress called Lily Latour or Latore. I'm not familiar with her. Um, and uh, in any event, as the movie progresses, we learn that uh, Mia is uh, claiming to her mother that she is her mother's deceased sister named Alice. So as the movie goes on, um, you know, the character of Sarah and us as the audience are left to uh, sort of try and piece together what is actually happening here. Um, is there some sort of supernatural element going on? Is Sarah sort of losing her mind? Is it this, you know, psychotic spell kind of thing? Um, and, you know, we're, we're looking for answers much as the, the Sarah character is. And it starts to sort of uh, piece together um, you know, a as the movie progresses, but I have to tell you, there are a lot of issues with this movie, uh, not the least of which is the pacing. Um, it is really like a slow kind of build, um, to this movie. And the, the payoff is not that great at the end, um, nor is it completely surprising. And I wouldn't even say they answer all of the questions. Um, and again, I'm not going to do spoilers, so there's some territory um, here that I think is sort of better left unsaid. But, um, you know, there there are other family members and um, people in Sarah's life that are trying to also kind of figure out um, what is going on and what she thinks she's seeing and hearing and what is real and what is not real um, and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And that's why, you know, this is listed as a psychological horror, psychological thriller. Um, all, all that stuff does apply, but... Other than the central sort of mystery component to it, you know, I, I do like the idea, and it's not like it's anything we haven't seen before, but I do like the idea of, you know, okay, this Mia girl, is she really Mia? Is she actually Alice? Um, you know, is, you know, what are the pieces here uh, involved? You know, I, I sort of like that, but it's just, it's not compelling enough to draw me into the pacing like it might have been better the way this is sort of you know such a slow movie uh it might have been better as like an hour-long episode of you know i don't know like black mirror or you know the new twilight zone or whatever as opposed to an hour and 40 some minute movie that we really don't need to spend that much time with um the performances are fine again i, I i'm not super familiar with sarah snook's work um she's okay here um but I would not chalk that up necessarily to her as I would maybe the week script. Um, you know, she's fine, it seems, with, with what she's been given. And she certainly is acting like she doesn't know what's going on. And then that's what the character calls for. And that's fine. Um, you know, would I say that she is going to be at home as a new scream queen? No, I, I don't think maybe uh, the horror genre is for her if this movie's any indication. But again... It's tough to sort of figure out if that is her or if that is just sort of the, the weak script. She's okay here. Um, in fact, I, I dare to say she's probably one of the better parts of the film. Um, it's just that she her character is kind of poorly written and, and unlikable. 
too. Um, you know, she's not a character that you can really get behind. And as a result, uh, you know, I cared even sort of less about uh, the central mystery and the component. Uh, th the girl uh, playing Mia is fine as well. Again, her name, uh, Lily Latore or Latour. Um, uh, you know, she's okay. Um, she's actually maybe a little better than, than Snook simply because I think there's a little more going on with her character. Um, and I think she has to kind of sell it more because she has to not only make, you know, Sarah believe that she is Alice, she has to make us believe, well, I guess she doesn't necessarily have to make us believe that she's Alice, but she has to make us believe that we don't know what's happening. Um, you know, and, and so she actually is selling it a little bit more. I think her, her, she does more heavy lifting in this movie probably than Sarah Snook does. Um, and, and again, through no fault, I, I think probably of Snook's just, um, you, you know, some poor writing, poor pacing issues, um, and, and a character that I, I didn't really care what necessarily happened to her. So, uh, this one is, I think maybe for the, uh, the hardcore succession fan only, you know, if you're really missing Sarah Snook on the screen, maybe this will satisfy some kind of an itch for you, but there's plenty of other horror movies and thrillers, um, even in the psychological, you know, sort of subgenre, uh, to enjoy other than this. I leave, uh, Run Rabbit Run with a D plus. You can check that out on Netflix now, if you so desire. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Damn Reviews It.